Hello YouTube, I'm Jerry Roman and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be covering the best fundamentally strong stocks under $20 and all of these stocks are undervalued and below the intrinsic value or analyst estimates. We've got a great video in store for you today. I really believe in keeping it real and yesterday my shared portfolio was down 6.17% to $89,000. The stock market had a red day as well and part of this portfolio's loss was due to Tesla being down 7%. EV stocks can be volatile and I'm up 50% on my Tesla position. So for the big picture, this is just a blip on the radar. But I'm not worried because my online portfolio stocks are up over 35% in just over three months. So we're crushing it and soon we'll hit our first goal of $100,000 on the way to 2.6 million tax-free dollars. As you can see from this chart, it's normal for the portfolio to fluctuate and we are definitely heading in the right direction. Here are a few unsolicited testimonials from Beast Mode Stock Analysis. We're helping a lot of people make money and if I've helped you, please tell me about it in the comments below. And on my channel, I take great pride in showing you the fundamental and technical data that supports my positions so you can learn how to invest and not be a blind follower. Definitely, you don't want to be a sheeple and you always want to think for yourself. And if you would like to follow my high growth portfolio, get my daily hot stocks list and learn more about investing, be sure to check out my Patreon page. And now it's time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's jump into the beast mode stock analysis for some side-by-side -side comparisons on these awesome stocks under $20. Welcome to beast mode stock analysis. We've got a great group of hot stocks under $20 for you today. We have SXC, which is Suncoke Energy, Vale, BGSF, which is BG Staffing, ACCO, which is ACCO Brands, LPG, which is Dorian, FRTA, Forterra, HMLP, I won't even try to pronounce that name, AMKR, which is Amcor Technology, PSO, which is Pearson PLC, and First United Corporation, which is ticker FUNC. And you can see the industries that they're in. We've got everything from metals and mining, professional services, all the way over to banks. So we've got a wide range of stocks. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is Beast Mode is color-coded with blue being the most important, followed by green and then tan, which we'll see just a little bit lower. And for blue, let's look at the return over three months. SXC is our winner at 63.78%. Everybody is coming in strong. Looks like our lowest is 27.35% for FRTA. And for a three-month return, that's not bad. Overall, these stocks are averaging 43.19% over three months. And we're going to look at the earnings and growth and just check out these PE ratios. Our low is 7.57 and our high looks like 72. And the nice thing about today's list is the P.E. ratios average 26, so these are all good, strong, fundamental stocks. And my long-term viewers, they know that I love P.E. ratios under 20. The S&P 500 average is 13 to 15, so you can see we've got a lot that are right in that range. Let's look at the revenue growth last year. We know the pandemic hit, so a lot of companies have struggled. So any company with a positive revenue growth in the last year, I consider that to be a really good thing. So Vail is looking good at 17.6%, LPG at 26%. AMKR at 22% and FUNC is just barely break even and it's understandable for a lot of these stocks that they are losing money. However, what are they going to do next year? And that's why we want to look at the revenue growth forecast. And what's really standing out to me here is Vail has a forecast of 30.18% and we've got AMKR at 23.03%. And as always, I love to look at the levered free cash flow. That's because it measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. Our winner, winner chicken dinner on the day is HMLP at 59%. LPG at 46% is freaking awesome. And F QNC is coming in strong at 25.97%. And what this means is these businesses are generating enough income and revenue right now to pay all of their bills and run the business operations without needing any money from outside sources. So the levered free cash flow, that's a really important number. Again, we're looking at fundamentally strong companies, so everybody here is in the black, and that's what we want to see. 
For dividends, I consider these to be a bonus when you're investing in a good company. And a lot of times we don't even go over this section just because nothing is impressive. And I always like to see a dividend yield of over 4%. So today we've got SXC coming in at 4.46%. We have HMLP at an impressive 12%, PSO at 4.65%, and FUNC at 4.49%. And let's look at the financials. Do the companies run on good margins? The S&P 500 average is 10.8%. So anything above that I consider to be good. Anything below that I consider to be subpar. Of course, those numbers will vary just a little bit depending on the sector that we're in. So for instance, we've got Vail at 29.7%. Boom, that's beautiful. ACCO, they're coming in right at par. We've got LPG at 39.1%. HMLP, what is this? 60.7%. All right, you have my attention. And FUNC, 27.4%. The balance sheet tells us whether or not a company is financially stable, and we want to look at the total assets versus total liability ratios. Ideally, I like that to come in at a two or higher, and that just means they have twice the assets to the liabilities. Anything over one is a good sign. Anything under one is a huge red flag. Our winner on the day here is LPG at 2.446, and BGSF is coming in right around two. Our next section is profitability, where we like to look at the net income margin, and that's going to vary depending on the sector, and you can see I've got them listed right here. The S&P 500 is 10.7% average overall. Information tech is 22.7%, energy is 7.4%, and consumer discretionary is 7%. So these guys vary a little bit. These guys right here, SXC, they're coming in weak at 0.51%, and then we can come over, and what really stands out here is HMLP at 43.52%, and I haven't came across these guys guys before, so you might want to check them out, and they actually have a pretty cool website. So here's their About Us information, and they provide floating LNG services under long-term contracts. The partnership owns and operates floating storage and regasification units, FSRUs, which act as floating LNG import terminals. Our vision is to grow across the LNG infrastructure value chain. So this is a very interesting company, and my best guess on these guys, they're probably going to be good for a swing trade. I have done a lot before with tanker industries and floating storage. So that's definitely something you guys should look into a little bit more. We're now moving into phase two of Beast Mode Stock Analysis, where we've got valuations, price targets, and analyst sentiment, and everything here is subjective. The first thing I notice is the Peter Lynch Fair Value Estimator, and I don't use this very often because we don't get a lot of hits on it. It's very common to see these as overvalued, but when we do get a hit, it gets my attention. Who comes to mind? Well, HMLP at near value. So that's definitely a green flag or a plus for this company. And now let's take a look at the estimated intrinsic value. All of today's stocks are going to be below the estimated intrinsic value, and this one is just off by a few cents. So we've got Vail, 1609, estimated intrinsic value is 1813, and anytime a number is in purple, it means the stock price is lower. And one way you can look at this is to see which ones have the biggest fair value intrinsic upside estimate, and that number right here is in blue at 31.98%. So FUNC is currently trading at 15.96, estimated intrinsic value is 2106, and that gives us an upside of 32%, not too shabby. Now if we come down and look at the analyst mean price. Same thing. If the number is in purple, the stock price is lower. And who's got the biggest upside? On this one, it would be ACCO. It's currently trading at $8.47. And the analyst target mean price is $11.33, giving it a 41.84% upside. For our analyst recommendations, the one with the most is also the strongest today, and that is Vail with 10, and that's a 100% buy rating. If we come down to book value per share, what stands out? We have three companies that are available below the book value, and we know that because of these blue numbers. So this one right here, SXC, is basically at par. Their book value per share is $5.79. Their current stock price is $5.38, and it is rare to buy below the book value. However, the one that really gets my attention is LPG, and that's because their book value per share is $19.59. Their current stock price is $11.65. So you're able to buy this at almost one half of the book value. That's impressive. And for my regular listeners, you remember about two weeks ago, we found a similar company, Mesa Air, and they have skyrocketed since then. And just yesterday, they reported earnings and they blew them out of the water. 
Can't wait to see how that one comes out. Oh, and by the way, how about the number of buy recommendations? They've got four, which is a 100% buy rating. All of the numbers in beast mode can interrelate to each other, and there's all kinds of different relationships you can find. That's one of the really big benefits of having Patreon, because you get this spreadsheet and the complete bonus section, which you can go through in detail and get a lot of information. And in the bonus section, well, there's a heck of a lot more there as well. And let's finish up, as always, with the Piotrowski score. This helps to find companies with healthy liquid balance sheets, profitability, and operating efficiency. Yesterday, I had a comment that, does the Piotrowski score even matter anymore since we're post-pandemic? And my answer was absolutely yes. Just compare it. And, and yesterday we had a lot of very low Piotrowski scores. Well, if you compare the Piotrowski scores before the pandemic and after the pandemic, you can see a difference. And weak companies, their scores went down quite heavily. If you look at the Piotrowski score on these companies, they're much higher and very strong. Seven, seven, four, six, a very nice eight, some more sevens. You get the idea. Piotrowski scores can really help keep you out of trouble and a high Piotrowski Piotrowski score is a good indication of lower risk. Now let's look at the Weeble charts for some technical analysis. We're now in Weeble's charts, which are completely free. And if you haven't already got your four free stocks, get them now because they're special ends, I believe, on the 15th. And that's where you can get four free stocks worth up to $1,600 each just for signing up and funding an account with $100. It's really a good deal. Anyway, let's check things out here. We're looking at SXC, which is Sunco Energy. This is a six-month chart. And the blue line here is the 20-day moving average. Red is the 50, and the white is the 200. And if you'd like to set up your charts this exact same way, just search me on YouTube for Webull, and I've got a training video on this, and this is in the desktop apps, and I also have a training video for using your mobile phone. All right, so we've got a sideways movement here on the six-month chart. It broke out of it. This is called a breakout when it goes past previous resistance, and it's been on a real nice bull run since then. It touched down to the 20-day moving average, continued up, and this is what's called a candlestick hammer because it looks a bit like a hammer, and this is typically a bullish indication. Our next stock is Vale. It's currently trading at $16.09. Same type of a pattern here, and look at what it's done in the last month or so. It shot up very nice. It's trading sideways right now after reaching a high of 1645. This is what we call consolidation, and we've got a little hammer right here that's a bullish indicator, and I'm also showing the MACD at the bottom. Our next stock is BGSF, trading at 1384, sideways upward trend, and it's really common for these stocks to trade right on that 20-day moving average, which is why I love them. They go up, they come back down towards it and then they continue up and that pattern repeats. And what we're looking for on these patterns is a higher high and then a higher low, a higher high and a higher low. So a nice healthy chart here on BGSF. And one of the reasons why all these charts look beautiful is because this is how I screen to find stocks. I don't want to be looking at crap. I want to be looking at good companies and good stocks so I can bring them to you. Well, here you are. Plus, these stocks have really good fundamentals today. Our fourth stock is ACCO, similar pattern, and check this out. Higher high, consolidation. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. That's the exact pattern that we're looking for. And we have another candlestick. I would expect this to be higher today. It doesn't always work out that way, but that would be the expectation. And this is for ACCO. Our fifth stock on the day is LPG. Same pattern, looking beautiful. And this is what I love when they come down and they touch that 20-day moving average and they bounce off it and they continue up. And this is also what I call riding the train, where we make it really simple. Is the train going to where you want it to go? This is what we call train tracks here, and this is the upward trend. And as long as it's trending up, these are the types of trains that I like to jump on board. Here we can see that the patterns, we didn't have really good train tracks, hence we weren't interested. Just another little bit of technical analysis for you guys. And number six is FRTA for Terra, currently trading at 1802. And these guys have been a little bit more rangy in where they're trading. They've got an upward trend, and it looks like that trend might be coming to a close. We're going to have to watch closely to see what it does. If you are interested in this stock, I would wait until it closes back up above that 20-day moving average. And our seventh stock is HMLP, currently trading at 1446. We've got a very nice upward trend, touched the 20-day moving average, kept on going. Got a little bit of sideways consolidation building out here, nothing to be worried about, looking good. Our eighth stock is AMKR, and look at this, exactly what we're looking for. A beautiful upward trend. It comes down, it touches that 20-day moving average, and now we've got a bullish candle. If it closes above that 20-day moving average, I'm interested. And anytime you see a candle like this, a big candle, it normally means something happened. 
happened. Maybe there was an earnings report. Maybe there was something in the news. But when you see big candles, you definitely want to check your news stories to see what's going on. And we can also see we've got a very big candle over here. So we can actually go down to the date on this candle and research exactly what happened and why. And then sure enough, it bounced right back into a beautiful upward trend. Our night stock on the day is Pearson, ticker PSO, and they're in a nice upward trend. It does have a few more gaps, so that can be a little bit of a concern depending on how they gap, and it also looks to be a lower volume stock, so that's something to look into. And our 10th and final stock on the day is FUNC, and this is really a nice looking stock pattern here. They had a small upward trend, they broke it, they regained a nice upward trend, coming down, touching that 20 day moving average, and we've got to wait and see what develops. If it bounces and closes higher, that's definitely a good indication. The power of my Patreon is that we are all learning together and I provide my shared portfolio with buy and sell updates. We have the beast mode spreadsheets and in our Patreon group, we break down trades with fundamentals and financials. Learning is fun, especially when you are making money and understanding why you are investing. Here are my top picks for today. And if you're getting value from my video, please let me know by hitting that like button. Number three is LPG. This is a strong fundamental company and you can buy it at almost one half the book value. Number two is HMLP. They've got a 21% return over one month, a 12% dividend, and they have a 59% levered free cash flow with a 43.52% net income margin. Definitely check that one out. And my number one pick today is Vale. It has a 37% return over one month. The revenue growth forecast is also 30.18 percent. I've only provided three picks today, but all of these companies are available below their intrinsic value or analyst estimates, have lower PE ratios, and have been performing well. This is a great group of stocks, so be sure to dig into the beast mode spreadsheet and do your due diligence because money can be made with this group. Our question of the day is, can you trust stock analysts? Most people don't know this, but stock analysts are more likely to rate stocks buy than sell because if their rating somehow helps push stock prices higher, their track records as stock analysts look better. My own opinion is you should always take analyst ratings and earnings estimates with a grain of salt. I trust beast mode stock analysis over the analyst recommendations any day of the week. Of course, you always want to do your own research and draw your own conclusions. As the entrepreneur abroad, I always like to mix in a few of my travel photos and today's are from Taiwan. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and appreciate the work I put into making them. If you can, please give me a like button to help out that YouTube algorithm and I'll see you soon on the next video.